Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Pennsylvania Gold Hunter. The weather's getting warm and I bet you can't wait to get out. I know I can't. So here's 10 spots to get you started. The Allegheny Reservoir, man-made in the 1960s. It's just east of Erie, Pennsylvania and it expands over the New York and Pennsylvania border. The PA side is operated by the Allegheny National Forest, which means it's accessible to the public for gold panning. This reservoir offers amazing views, world-class fishing, and of course gold all along the banks. The banks have been agitated by man-made equipment, and therefore it has exposed lots of mineralized rock, including gold. Stony Brook, near Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. This creek was brought to us by fellow Pennsylvania gold YouTuber, PA Pickers. And this creek is located in Center Township. It's rich in cobble and lots of fossils. Gold is sprinkled throughout this entire creek, so check out your usual gold traps like bends and gravel bars. Elk Creek. Elk Creek is a tributary from Lake Erie. Lake Erie was carved out millions of years ago by glacier activity, and of course anything associated with glaciers is good news for gold prospectors. Elk Creek is very popular in fishing, so you can find public access in picnic areas and campgrounds all along the stream. The Delaware River along the eastern border. The Delaware River is one of the most famous rivers in the Commonwealth. It is created by a confluence of the eastern and western branches. The western branch runs off the world famous Catskill Mountains, bringing all sorts of glacier till along with it. The main river is made up of bedrock, cobblestone, quartz, and rich in minerals, including gold. Cuda Creek, located in Sarah, Pennsylvania. Cuda Creek is a tributary to the Susquehanna River and it originates from the Finger Lakes region. The Finger Lakes are known for glacier activity. Each lake is carved out by a glacier millions of years ago in upstate New York. They are called the Finger Lakes because from a satellite point of view, they kind of look like fingers. This particular one comes out of Cougar Lake, which is the smaller one in the bottom right, and then runs along the New York State border before finally depositing into the Susquehanna River. To find gold here, look along the banks where you'll find round river rock and packed sand. You should be able to see the black sand sitting right on top of the surface. Tom's Creek, just west of Gettysburg. Tom's Creek runs out of a popular mountain range called the South Mountain. This creek is absolutely gorgeous in scenery, has large mineralized rocks, and it runs east to west. It is also part of the Potomac Watershed. The Potomac River runs into Virginia, which is very rich and popular in gold. The Shenango River. The Shenango River is actually part of that Western Pennsylvania glacier till that you see right here on this topography map. The GPAA has a claim in the river. This is a very popular river for kayaking and in 2021 was dubbed River of the Year. The West Branch Susquehanna River. This river runs east and west across central Pennsylvania carving out deep hills and valleys, offering amazing views and easy access. Gold prospectors can expect to find large mineralized rocks throughout the entire river. Lads Creek, located in the New Albany, Pennsylvania area. New Albany actually has two official gold mines, the New Albany Gold Mine, just off 220, and the Three Brothers Gold Mine. Lads Creek offers mineralized rock throughout the entire creek, and gold can be found in just about anywhere. The Lehigh River, located in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Lehigh is a very popular tourist area and offering whitewater rafting, giving you that authentic Alaskan feel. Complete with beautiful mountain views, look for public access and also look for the traditional gold traps such as big bends in the river and large boulders to help stop the gold. <laughs> 